in your forecast this morning, we are still looking at gusty winds up to 30, 35 miles per hour through the morning. Here's the deal. Dry line's going to inch into the region. And that's going to increase, decrease our humidity on the backside. But you can see northwesterly winds not good when it comes to fire danger. Sea breeze tries to push that dry line back. Aileen gives us a little bit more humidity, but a cold front's going to come through as we head into the overnight hours and we'll see the winds pick up a tad uh, behind that front, bringing us some northerly air into the region. So here's where all that sets up right now. We have an area of low pressure just to our north. This has just been stalling out over the area, bringing the round after round of severe weather kind of along the I-35 corridor and into East Texas. This whole system is finally going to get moving and we're going to get a break from that severe weather risk across kind of East Texas, still a lingering threat. But the Dallas region down to San Antonio uh, seeing a decrease in that threat. However, this dry line is going to increase that fire danger threat across the Lone Star state, especially the western half. So here's the deal. As I mentioned, there is still a low chance of some severe weather from Dallas down to Houston, but the greatest risk of severe weather today comes to the Mississippi River Valley region. That's going to be through Memphis and up into portions of Arkansas and into even Missouri, Kentucky, Indiana. So that's where the, the key risk of severe weather is going to be as this low pressure system starts to, to take off and take a north and northeastward push. There's that dry line bringing the greatest risk of severe weather in Texas uh, into East Texas. Houston will see some showers. There's a slim chance we see a shower, but overall we're mostly just going to be uh, kind of flirting with that dry line back and forth today. Cold front is going to move through the region as we head into Thursday morning. We will be cooler, but there's still a chance for a few showers into South Texas and some cloud coverage heading into Thursday. And then we see a slim chance for some rain also. Uh, heading into the weekend, but overall slim, slim. Don't don't get hung up on the rain. Dry line impacts will bring sunshine this afternoon. We'll see humidity drop a tad, uh, but very high fire danger is going to be the main concern. Here's what you need to know when it comes to that sunshine. When we start to see the wind shift out of the northwest, we'll see the cloud coverage break up. So we'll see southerly winds through the morning, northwesterly winds into the afternoon, and then that sea breeze pushes back in, and that brings the easterly winds back into the area. So variable winds through the day, not good when it comes to fighting uh, fires. If one does break out, firefighters will have to keep a close eye on those winds. Uh, they're challenging when they just shift around. But anyway, highs today will be in nearing the triple digit mark. Here's that uh, humidity line so you can really see where the dry line sets up, uh, keeping coastal areas with plenty of humidity so your fire danger is on the lower side. However, there's that sea breeze pushing that that dryer back on shore. So a red flag warning in place for inland uh, sand pat, Nueces, Clayburg, and then into the brush country. Seven day forecast. We are going to keep it a little breezy through Thursday as the cold front moves through. A little bit of a warm front moves in Friday, keeping us cloudy, bringing moisture back into the region for the weekend. Easter 88 degrees. There is a slim chance of rain, but it looks slim. That looks like mostly uh, Sunday night and into Monday morning. John Thomas.